dear Mohammad and Farnas. I finally succeed in making this Typhoon Hill work as expected. So I'd like to share with you initial settings and how to set the code into the DSP and run together the DSP plus the Typhoon Hill. I have here, I will show you these tests in two videos, one for open loop and another one for closed loop. I'm using a bug converter as example because it's simplicity. So everything begins with the PC simulations where I will generate the code for the DSP. So I, I hope you have everything connected and working and just do these, these steps for you to begin using your Typhoon in case you didn't begin. So I have here a folder where I have two simulations. One is for bulk open loop and another one for bulk closed loop. In this first video, I'll show you the bulk working in open loop condition. I have here the PC file. The simulation is quite simple. It's just the bulk converter, a power structure, and also here the PWM generations where I will generate the code automatically with PC. So I don't know if you have already used the generation generated code in PC. So you need to set here the correct target. I hope you have the same target I have, which is the F28335. And I also have here I'm using the GPIO0 as a PWM. If you double click here, you can see that this is set accordingly. Okay. So I have here the bug converter it's still within the PWM block. I choose here sawtooth wave because it's a DC DC converter. It's more appropriate than a triangular wave. So sawtooth, the switching frequency is 15k. I have here a three phase PWM, but I'm using just phase one. And I have here a DC source, which is the dot cycle of the bug converter. Okay, this is more attractive than a single phase PWM because in PC version 9.1 the single phase has a bug so even if you use DC DC converter single phase converter choose to use a three phase PWM block I chose here a voltage equals to 0 0.665 which means that the output voltage will have 65 volts because the input voltage is 100 if I run this simulation just to check how they work I have here the output voltage I have here the behavior of the initialization and I have here the output voltage is equal to 65 volts I can also plot here the inductor current if I make a zoom here I see the correct behavior of the inductor current okay I can see here also the input the initialization of the inductor current what I need from this simulation is the code that will be used into the DSP so I come here and make simulation generate code if I go back to the folder where PC is PC generated this folder with several files PC generated these files that later I will run into the DSP okay in Typhoon if I open this software I hope you have your cables connected, your interface board and your DSP. Again, check if your DSP is the 28335. As soon as this software is open, just check, check if your device is correctly connected. You may see it here. Okay, then a schematic editor. In this, I will create a new one. Next finish in this software I will just reproduce the power structure of the book so we need a, a voltage voltage source you may choose between sinusoid or constant in our case a constant voltage equals to 100 volts I will include here the book typhoon software has already the book in doctor capacitor and also a resistor I will copy the same values which is 1.5 milli 
470 microfarad and 25 using the same values and 25 making the making the correct connections Now I choose voltage measurement and then I, I need to include here the variables I want to see in the scope. I will call this V out and also current measurement to see the inductor current. I can rename this to E in. Okay. So this is the power structure, it's, it is the same we have here in PC for open loop. Now the interactions between the Typhoon and the DSP will happen in this block because the P DSP will generate the PWM and the hill will receive its signal. So I need to choose here the control of the switch between internal modulator or digital inputs. In our case it's a digital input because the DSP will generate the PWM and the, this PWM will go to the part number one because here in PC I'm choosing the GPU zero which means that is going to the part number one okay this is enough in terms of Typhoon software this is everything you need the power structure and the control which is an open loop just the PWM generation will run in the DSP so I come here and compile first I need to save I can use the same name I can save in the same folder after succeeding in loading the model I create a new panel you may include here if you want some stuffs usually I just include a capture this is not necessary the most important is in this panel here because here we have the source later when the simulation is running we can choose this in real time let's begin with 100 volts and here is the most important thing the analog outputs I will choose here what variables I want to see in the scope in my case I want to see the output voltage I can choose here a value of scaling because this voltage will be later used in the analog input of the DSP I can also choose here the inductor current I can choose here 10 amps okay this when I choose this two variables it means that these signals are available if I open this document this is the interface which is this PC board here Okay, when I choose two variables I may I can connect the probe here and here and this is what we have here in my webcam pointing to the scope so I have here in yellow let me position this I have here in yellow the output voltage and I have here also the inductor current because I chose them here analog output 1 analog output 2 output voltage and inductor current and then I connected the probe here and here with the ground here okay if I run this simulation I see that nothing works not is supposed to work let me reset my DSP okay again if I run this I may see not nothing here everything is zero the output voltage is zero and the inductor current is zero because I'm running the simulation there is no PWM yet I will just now load the DSP the code generated by the PC in Code Composer Studio then I come here open Code Composer Studio you may choose uh, locations for your workspace this is a screen of the code composer studio go to projects import legacy 3.3 version browser just open the file the folder that PC generated and load this 
file here which has the extension pjt open next finish okay so right click properties products uncheck this apply and close file new target configuration you may rename if you want in this location here new target configuration you need to choose your control card so I have here the driver and in my case is 28335 which is probably the same of yours okay, save it's important here to test connection if everything is connected correctly the harder everything you can see here that the scan test has succeeded okay then I build this this code and let me reduce here and show you the initialization okay so I have here again voltage output voltage and inductor current because I chose them here and because I connected the probe right here and then when I push run let me push run I can see here the voltage and also the inductor current Okay, and the voltage has its value if I make this just to see the waveform of the inductor current in a clear zoom I can see here a similar behavior of the simulation okay this is good and then this is one of now what I'll tell you is I think is one of the most advantage of having a typhoon hill because I can do some transient analysis using this code so the DSP is running the the code while the power structure is running in the Typhoon Hill okay, if I return here I will stop the code then I will prepare again notice that this simulation is still running you can see here the play is pushed here so still running and if I go here everything is zero what I want to see now here is this I will make a trigger just to check the initialization process of the bug working uh, in open loop and then I single if I play here let me let me repeat this test again because uh, it was out of scale here I will reset this everything is zero then single section okay that's I'd like to show you this is the initialization process of the results presented in Typhoon if I return to the simulation I see clearly here a similar behavior in the voltage and also in the current okay let me put you side by side and now we can do a lot of tests using this typhoon and check how the code performs this is good for closed loop I will show you in the next video but before that let me show you other analysis that we can do for instance if I come to the simulation and make a step here in the input voltage let's suppose here I make a step from 100 to 125 at 25 seconds if I run this simulation I see here that this behavior I change it from this value to this with this oscillatory behavior I will make the same analysis using Typhoon okay I come here the simulation is running the DSP is running I have here the results now I can come here and go to sources and begin to change here for the value I want so I can return to 100 go back to 125 if I want to see this I may capture with a trigger let me do that to show you single 
when I push enter, I see here the result of changing the input voltage of the of the buck. And if you go back to the simulation, we see clearly similar behavior in the voltage and current. And this is an attractive tool because we can check our controller using these steps. Let me show you another one, which is this. I will include now a load in 400 milliseconds, which is this behavior here. Okay, the voltage returns to its nominal value, but we have here this behavior. Here in Typhoon, now I need to stop this, make it ready for run again. I will stop the simulation, return to 100 volts. I need to change now here. I will include another resistor with 25, which is the same here. I will include here a switch, which is a single breaker. Compile again. Later I can change this switch between on and off as I want and see how the voltage responds. Okay, let's wait here. So 100 volts. If I run this, let return. So nothing is showed here because the DSP is stopped. When I begin, I can clearly see here the voltage and the current. Okay, now I can go back to the panel and switch on and off. Let's see. Now I can see clearly here, here what is happening. Let me make a trigger. When I close that I can see here the voltage presenting a similar behavior of the simulation, even for current and voltage. Okay, this is open loop book. I hope you understood. If you have some questions, you can ask me. And again, I think that this is a powerful tool for our research because we can verify control strategies, algorithms that we develop inside the DSP without the necessity of building the prototype. So in my case here I have the DSP is running in the DS the, the code is running in the DSP. Okay, this is running in the DSP and this is running in the Typhoon Hill. In the next video I'll show you the closed loop operation of this book and then I can make a lot of analysis, transient analysis, including load, removing load, including uh, oscillatory behavior in the input voltage, changing uh, whatever you want. Okay, see you in the next video. Let me stop this stuff. Stop this simulation and stop this video recording.